Hey guys, it's Michelle and I'm just here very quickly to do a wee bit of a wig review and show you one of the other gorgeous new wigs that we have now got launched from Noriko Rene of Paris. This is called Faith and this is about to be available in the UK very very soon so I wanted to quickly come on here first and show you this. Now before we go any further I just want to full disclaimer let you guys know um, this wig was sent to me complimentary for the purposes of doing a review and doing a bit of a show for you guys and let you see what is going to be available very very soon. Now this is not a paid video, it's not a sponsored video, anything I say in regard to comments, opinions, they are purely my own, not of anyone else. So first of all, second of all then, next, to say thank you Anel at Trendsco who is so beautiful, so kind and sent me this for the purposes of doing this review and let me choose the colours for the new range. Now my thinking was go for different colours in each of the styles to show you a bit of a variation on what is there. So guys, for those of you girlies out there who are a wee bit of a lover of the Plumberry Jam well, guess what shade this wee bad boy comes in and guess what I'm wearing? <laughs> it is really, really beautiful and I love it very much. So this is called Faith, part of the Noriko 2018 collection. I'm going to talk a bit about length, then we'll talk about cap, and then I will vanish and leave you in peace for just a little while. Okie dokie, so first of all, this is a synthetic wig. It is an average size cap. It is by Noriko, it's called Faith. Faith and lengthwise the front on this obviously it's asymmetric so we have the right hand side here is longer than the left so the right hand side here is just over 11 inches long this left hand side is just about the 8 inch length this is 11 so that's a good 3 inches longer on the right hand side now at the crown we've got 8.85 inches of just utter gorgeousness really and then the nape we have just under two inches about 1.95 inches at the nape here it's gorgeous and what you can see from the side on the profile on this is so gorgeous and also the side the side on is just stunning if you have a look I mean you've got these kind of stacked layers at the back I'll do a quick turnaround and show you guys a full 360 let you see it in all its glory from angles it is gorgeous and um, so from the front we have this the left I'm going to show you the back then the right she is so so gorgeous I really am loving the shade now what I love with this wig I love asymmetric I love a line and this collection has a gorgeous new a line wig which is the tailor which you can view the link for up here we also have this gorgeous 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 asymmetric wig um, which is just so beautiful now you can have this one side if you want I mean you can do what you want it's your hair when it's on your head so you can tuck that behind your ear for an even more dramatic effect and leave the one side down or if you wear it all down you still have quite a difference in length it is very beautiful what we do have with this as well to show you guys which I really want to point out because it's beautifully done is this lace front that we have apologies I have some hairs trapped under that lace front there you have this amazing amazing lace front here this is how the lace front looks straight from box Normally I will customise my lace fronts and bring them back slightly um, to remove the excess lace that doesn't have hair on it but this is how it comes straight from box. It's really beautiful and those hairs do look like they're growing out your head. It has a left sided single monofilament parting which again makes it look like those hairs are just coming out your very own scalp and that is so gorgeous. It creates such a natural look. The mono parting is on the left hand side so you have about maybe just over an inch to work with where exactly you can put the parting within that so I mean you can have from like for on me it's here to here so anything between that so you can have it just off centre left or you can have it a bit further left I've gone right in the middle of that mono filament there to create this parting it is so so gorgeous obviously as you can see you can fluff that wee bad boy right up and get loads of volume in it if you want which I personally think looks kind of awesome. Look at the colours. Oh, it does come in a whole lot of colours, but oh, it's gorgeous. 
so it is so so beautiful um, so you can fluff it up or you can just have it nice and sleek and fairly flat guys just whatever kind of suits you um, obviously if you're wanting to pull any of that back you can you can just tuck it behind your ear as well if you're looking for it to be out of your face and it looks like a totally different wig when you do that because of it is inverted although it's asymmetric and you just have a different looking wig it is so so beautiful I I'm likely to also be popping some wee braids in here because well it's what I do I like to stick a lot of braids in all my wigs so um or pull that back here to get it off your face and it's going to look so real because of this phenomenal lace front here really really gorgeous now I will show you the inside of this cap so we've got this gorgeous lace front here which runs back into this left sided monofilament parting as you can see we have an area of permatees on top to allow for some volume. We have open wefted sides and back for you guys. Now what you can do is tighten this up with these pull adjuster tabs here. Um, mine is pulled up to make it a bit smaller. It is an average size cap and it does have some stretch with the way that this is created with the elastication up and down. So from front to back you have a wee bit of room to play with there. Now you have your velvet covered ear tabs which have metal stays inside of them to allow you to bend them and mould them to conform to the shape of your head. It is so gorgeous. Look at these colours by the way. They are just gorgeous. Now in regard to colour, this does come in quite a few shades. I I have also tried this on in the Illumina R, which I will maybe pop a wee photo in for you guys just in case you're wanting to see that here. Um, that is the Illumina R, which I adore, and I have Taylor in that shade. Illumina R is one of my favourite shades of all time. I would honestly have every wig in Illumina R, <laughs> but then I love this too. I just like everything, but Illumina R is one of my, I would go as far as to say it's, it's, my, it's in my top three or four colours for synthetic hair. I do love the Illumina Art, it's really really gorgeous but I love this plumbery as well. Now what I did in my video of the tailor that I have reviewed, part of the new Noriko collection, um, which is here, what I did with the tailor was I changed the lighting. So this just now lighting that you can see here is the Plumbery Jam LR and the lighting here is very much the kind of lighting you would have outdoors this is the bright daylight type of lighting now to show you guys what it's going to look like in the kind of indoors to show you the difference in color I'm just going to play with my lighting a minute to change this okay okay guys so this is more like indoors type lighting a very yellowy type lighting to show you how it appears inside yeah, so this is like indoor lighting that you're seeing now, quite yellow, whereas previously it was more the outdoor lighting. So that's the kind of differences you're going to have. Now let me see if I can actually change it as we're looking. So if we have a look at this side, it's longer to see more of the colour. So this is your indoors, this is your outdoors coming up. So that's how your colour is likely to appear in both different types of light. Now, obviously computer monitors affect how it looks. However, this wig does come in a shade range, which they have gorgeous shades. There are gorgeous blondes, there are rooted shades, blended shades, highlighted shades, natural shades. So really it's all about what suits you best. And um, if you are like me and you like to change your colour and change your style and change up everything, then you might be in for a bit of an expensive time because you're probably going to want this in every shade because it's so gorgeous it's so comfortable and the thing about it at the back as well here with the kind of lengths that we have um the thing i love about that it's not going to be rubbing and causing any kind of tension or friction frizz or any static sort of problems that you can have sometimes with synthetic wigs so that was just a wee quick show of this gorgeous faith wig by nariko for you guys i will be back soon to show you some more wigs from the new Nariko range. I'll be back with other wig reviews and all sorts of things for you. So thanks for tuning in guys. Please subscribe if you've not already and you can eagerly anticipate the very soon arrival of these wigs to the UK. Take care, keep sparkling, be on beautiful and I will see you all very soon. Mwah!